Good afternoon, guys. I want to take a little time today to talk about a swarm trap I made. And uh, maybe some of y'all will like this design and maybe want to do this in the future. It's nothing very expensive. It's pretty easy to make. And uh, there is a couple things that I would do different if I had to do it over again. And one thing is this hole. I wish I'd have made this hole a little bigger or a little wider than what this one is. Um, I put this little piece of um, what is this uh, crown I'm trying to think what gauge it is I think it's 18 gauge crown royal staple and I drove that up in there and mainly I done it to keep the birds out of it uh, I guess it would keep a mouse out of there too but uh, my thing was thinking a bird wouldn't be able to go into that with that there it would kind of keep him back and it wouldn't you know obstruct the bees but uh, this is a pretty simple design and it looks dirty, but then bees like this. They like it like that. It's just OSB. And uh, it swelled up a little bit. But it's not that bad. Um, so what I did is I cut a piece back here. Let me get the measurement. I'll show you the measurement. This piece is between the two long pieces. So if I get this measurement. So it's about... It's about 14 and three quarters. So this piece here is about 14 and three quarters. And then the side piece. I'll go to the end of the side piece. You see that's about 19 and three quarters. So it's pretty easy dimension. Um, and then on these end pieces. That's another piece of OSB right there. You see that? So, overall, that's the width of the box. Just about an eighth shy of 16 and a half. And the overall front to back, which this OSB sweat a little bit, so you can't really go by that to be real accurate but it's about 21 and a half um i think before it swelled it's probably about 21 and a, a quarter but you can put about any lid you want to on this uh, you just make old junk lid and uh, you put your frames inside here and i just i put about i mean a lot of times i put about three in the middle with old comb and they'll they'll go right to it but uh it don't have to be real neat um I got a thinner piece on the bottom. It ain't as thick. And the only thing that I don't like about this box is it's kind of heavy. Um, if it gets full of comb or if you don't get to it for a while and they fill it up with honey, it can be kind of hard to handle. But, but the benefits of this box is it's made good it'll last you a while and it's pretty much the same dimensions on the inside as a 10 frame hive box and that's why i made it like this i've seen them where they've they've stood them up long ways kind of like you know like this and put them on a tree and had the frames in the top and they work good too you know i'm not knocking them it's just the only thing i don't like about that is when they put them frames up here the bees will draw below them frames so then when you come in here you got that mess you know you pull it out and you got this mess underneath that you got to try to clean up well if that queen's laid eggs and everything in that comb that's underneath of those frames it's a shame to waste it i mean you can rubber band it into another frame and use it but it takes so much time. If you got 10 or 15 of these things out and they all get bees in them and you got to maintain it and keep up with it, that's that's a lot of work. So what I'm saying is this is what I think the best design other than I think the hole should be a little bigger. I made a lot of these and I didn't change it. I just left it the way it is. But I think that's the only difference is I think I ought to put a little bigger hole. But... I mean, I know it looks dirty inside, but the bees do not mind this. They will clean that up every time they go to it. <clears throat> but uh, 
I like this design and it really works out good for me. And like I said, you can put 10 deep frames. And when this thing gets full of bees, you can take it and transfer everything right over to a regular hive deep body. And you don't have to deal with a mess. It's so much easier that way. And what I do is I just take my other deep hive with me to my spot where I got this, put everything over in my box. And then I'll just put other frames over in this. And I mean, I'll have foragers that come in, you know, that I didn't get all of them. They'll come in and they'll start messing around a little bit. And they'll kind of keep the wax moth out of my old frame and stuff that I got in here. But, you know, I think that having the extra bees coming in and out kind of creates, you know, curiosity for the other bees. And it keeps that scent going in the box. So I think it works out best if I just switch it over to my, my other deep and then I take that home and leave this where, where it stands. Um, and these are easy to mount. They're easy to put in a tree. You just make a, an L brace underneath. <clears throat> Maybe I'll show you that one day how I make that. But uh, they're pretty easy to put in a tree. They're easy to put about anywhere. But uh, I, I like these. I like this design. It's a few things I'll change. Um, like I wish I could get rid of this, this front piece right here. And I'm going to figure out how I want to do that. And uh, that will be something I'm going to try to do. And like I said, the next ones I make will be a bigger hole right here. But uh, I like this design. But if y'all would, like and share my videos. And uh, please subscribe. And hope you like what I told you today. And, and uh, this is just the way I do it. This ain't the way you got to do it. But uh, I hope y'all like the video. Thank y'all.